Hi everybody, welcome back to my study vlog. This week I'm going to be talking about reliability versus validity because this one can get pretty tricky for folks. This is going to be relevant for you if you're taking the CPCE or any of the exams like the ASWB or the MFT exam where you have to talk about assessing and diagnosing. I will say this is especially important to grasp if you are taking the National Counselor exam. So as always, feel free to pause this video when you need to and watch it at whatever speed helps you best. Don't forget to let me know in the comments how you did and what is still tricky because I know this is a really weird subject. Okay, let's do this. A test consistently yields the same results when administered multiple times, but it does not measure what it claims to. What does this test lack? A. Reliability. B. Objectivity. C. Validity. Or D. Standardization. And the answer is C. Validity. Which of the following best defines reliability in testing? A. The degree to which a test measures what it claims to measure. B. The ability of a test to predict future performance. C. The consistency of test scores over time or across items. Or D. The fairness of test content for diverse groups. And the answer is C. The consistency of test scores over time and across items. A counselor administers a personality inventory twice, two weeks apart, and the results are very similar. This reflects which type of reliability? A. Interreader. B. Test retest. C. Internal consistency. Or D. Split half. And the answer is B. Test retest. A test of depression accurately identifies individuals who meet clinical criteria. This test demonstrates good A. Content validity B. Criterion related validity C. Construct reliability or D. Face reliability. And the answer is B. Criterion related validity. Which type of validity is concerned with whether test items fully represent the construct being measured? A face validity, B, predictive validity, C, content validity, or D, concurrent validity? And the answer is C, content validity. A math test has problems only involving addition, yet it is meant to measure general math ability. The test lacks A. Face validity B. Content validity C. Construct reliability or D. Internal consistency 
And the answer is B, content validity. If two different raters observe the same client behavior and give very similar ratings, the measure demonstrates A. Predictive validity B. Face validity C. Inter-rater reliability or D. Test-retest reliability And the answer is C. Inter-rater reliability Which statement about validity and reliability is most accurate? A. A reliable test is always valid. B. A valid test must first be reliable. C. Reliability is more important than validity. Or D. Validity ensures consistency. And the answer is B. A valid test must first be reliable. What kind of validity is concerned with how well a test score correlates with a future outcome? A. Concurrent validity. B. Predictive validity. C. Construct validity. Or D. Face validity. And the answer is B. Predictive validity. A counselor is evaluating a test and finds that although it looks appropriate on the surface, it lacks empirical evidence for its accuracy. This test may have A. Strong construct validity B. High face validity but low overall validity C. High test retest reliability or D. Poor inter-rater reliability. And the answer is B. High face validity, but low overall validity. Thank you so much for watching this week's study vlog. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And comment below to let me know how you did. I'm always curious. If you're finding my content helpful, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I come out with new study content just like this. I wish you the best of luck on your journey towards becoming a therapist.